Are you ready? Um, okay, we got this uh, handout early this morning from my teacher uh, with, from the book uh, Master the Seed Garden Manual. Uh, these are the, we call it uh, uh, bonus or DN, dotting trees. So you, you don't do the outline. Even this look like outline, it's the loading of the brush has some dark in, on the edge. So uh, there's also outlined leaves that we did earlier with the, uh, the little bushes under the pine. And there are some garden plants like the uh, palm and the uh, banana. Bamboo. Bamboo, yeah. <laughs> Different bamboo in distance. Uh, yeah. The new bamboo, the downward bamboo, the other bamboo. So, uh, it, it didn't match in here, but uh, uh, <coughs> we, yeah, the, the willow tree that we are going to do next is a very <coughs> difficult one. There's a saying that uh, to paint the trees, the most difficult is the, uh, the willow. So the, we're going to do the willow. I uh, used the, um, we have a black sable brush uh, available here uh, today. You can also use the red whisker landscape brush. It, this one is a little more uh, flexible. So we use a paper called uh, mulberry. The stringing fiber is on the back side. Uh, you can feel it. And the front side is smoother. So uh, use the smooth side. Okay, now we're going to do the tree. You start from uh, the bottom, or you can start from the start from the, the middle section. You know where the uh, branches start to split. <laughs> you can uh, you can lighten it. Uh, uh, when it's dry a little bit, uh, drip some water, and then blot, maybe. That's the only way, I think, if it's too dark. But don't try to do this kind of thing. Uh, try, try to get the ink uh, in right shade first. Uh, this, the first uh, step is to draw the trunk and uh, the, uh, the main branches. We don't use the outline, uh, then the twigs with the downward uh, strokes. That's the most difficult part. I tried to draw something in front of the trunk to make it more interesting. So here, I leave a break, just like we do palm blossom. We do that sometimes. You can, you can have a little tree cross it from the bottom. I tried, uh, I think the handout is here. It's for the composition here. Oh, there's a branch on the, uh, on the taller part. This is okay. So try to break the symmetry, the not equal on, on both sides. So usually the, the hanging branches more in the water part, although there's some uh, on the other direction. Now I'm going to use the magic uh, helpful brush, the <laughs> red whisker brush. <laughs> red whisker brush uh, is the, the best for this. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to keep it uh, even and flow like that. So basically, you do uh, in two, uh, let me see, four strokes manner. Okay, uh, one, two. Uh, three, maybe make a, a cross or, or a dance part. Uh, let's just follow the, and then three, a uh, fourth, the, the other direction. So here's another one. So you can add to that one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And then you can add some random ones. Be careful with the outer groove, so it will show the uh, 
is the you know the middle one they overlap not really uh, important. Uh, when you when you paint, pay attention on the dense and sparse, always uh, this is the sparse part. One, two, three, and maybe a little minor. One, two, three. So this one. <coughs> you can uh, hold your arm uh, with your sh uh, shoulder. So you can stand if you like if you to see better. So it's no longer a challenge if you use the right brush. Otherwise, if you use a big brush, <laughs> it's, it's going to be very difficult. <coughs> So you can you can have some wave where you are very poetic, you know, like spring wave uh, of uh, uh, branches so in the wind, something like that. <coughs> I'm doing the early spring, no no uh, leaves yet. You can you can wash the color with a little green to suggest a little. Uh, flower kind of uh, shoot, uh, leaf shoots, right? Below it. So this is uh, um, the river bank is only very few strokes. The dark, the star, usually just what left over from the trunk, you can do that. It's, a, it's very close to the margin, so I don't want to make it dark. I use a canvas, so it's good to uh, use a blotting paper. You can, you can sometimes pick back color. Just mm. one stroke and, and dry. The, it's about void, uh, Chinese, shi and shi solid. Mm -hmm. She uh, mm -hmm. contrast. Right? Uh, you can use water to mm -hmm. no, no water, just uh, a color layer. Because we do it fast, so you don't have to wait to dry mm -hmm. to do that. And the, the, here's the, the poetic part. This is to be a, a academic uh, 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 entry exam topic. Uh, you know the. The question was uh, how to paint uh, the pass, river pass uh, without passenger. <laughs> uh, you know, somebody did a, a bird standing on the boat or something. Hmm. A heron. Mm the color without uh, waiting, or you can let it dry. It's different uh, result, but uh, let's just do it right now. I, uh, use any leftover yellow or green, oh, that's good. A little bit yellow color, just a one small to be uh, thank you. Okay. Yellowish uh, green. Indicate early spring, still cold. 
in Harbin, the north east China, they got snow yesterday. And the day yeah. before it was uh, uh, 30 cent degree and uh, today it's below zero. <laughs> it's like a yeah. sauna. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very light, keep it light, just lose it. Okay, uh, we can use a little amber here. I just wash dishes for now. Yeah. <laughs> don't need too much color. about the remote ground, a little blue that... Uh, oh, pretty blue. Yeah, any color you pick. <laughs> Good, thank you. And uh, we can add a little other colors. Just mute it down a little bit. And it has to be right. You cannot blot it away if you make a mistake. That's the distance level, and then you can use a little ink. We call it a leveled, leveled uh, perspective. And you can do uh, some uh, green grass. I don't have room here. I think there's some uh, in 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 uh, on on this side of the bank. There's a water pool or something mm -hmm. there on the original. I just do it on the uh, <coughs> in the on the shore. So. And the some here. This is more like an yeah, orchid, small orchid. <laughs> uh, you can just draw some more here, I think. A um, little green, maybe, but not too much. Mm. This is a little larger grass on this side. Okay, now I'll write a poem. Um, my teacher wrote, uh, I think it's cut off. Um, uh, <coughs> the, it's a town poem, I think. Li Liu Cai Huang Dan Wei Nong. The green leaves just turned yellow in early spring, uh, not yet uh, dark or thick. Uh, how, to, how to put it in a poetic way? Yeah, <laughs> just uh, turned yellow, green, yellow, dense. Uh, dense uh, uh, halfway uh, become dense. So very, very, it's like a little uh, whale, uh, silk. I think there's a only uh, there's even an early morning, like a mm -hmm. moon. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it should be small. I think. Mm -hmm. Should I add a little? Mm -hmm. Maybe no. Okay. 
I have to write it. It changed the mm -hmm. chi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Uh, now I have to do this side. Mm -hmm. uh, a little uh, bird or something it has the big chi field. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> right more. I, I follow the tradition painter who, who always write their birth, uh, their age on the painting instead mm. of the date. So my birthday is coming next weekend. Just so ah. I to, uh, I don't want to say how many. <laughs> <laughs> Still 54, right? <laughs> anyway. It's a good number. Yeah. Who's going to argue with you? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so this is like the villas. Long way to go. <laughs> Not turned green yet. <laughs> Early spring? Right. <laughs> okay. Now I. Uh, again, I used the small seal, but this one is a little bigger. You can, uh, I can use my name seal. Also, this is last name, family name. Mm -hmm. and, uh, since this is a long uh, inscription, we can. Oops, sorry. Use, uh, this, one. this is my Chinese name, Xiao uh, Hui. Okay. That adds some color to it. Okay, let me uh, show you the original. Uh, it's a little different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Here's my teacher's version. <coughs> you see it? Mm -hmm. The moon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, there's no... Home. I think I saw his larger painting with that line. I saw it was uh, on this painting. Yeah, this you can see the, the, paint, the painting is very thin. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, it's, it's already broke. Yeah. It's yeah. very fragile. Oh, yeah. yeah, fragile. Put it back. <laughs> the wind's cool. The air conditioning. It can fly away. How old is that? Um, it's my teacher's painting uh, in the 60s, maybe, mm. uh, in the 70s or 60s. Yeah. 40, 40 years old. 40 years old, yeah. Yeah, yeah but uh, if you mount it, you will lose that uh, feel of paper. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think uh, compared with his, uh, he has some more uh, negative space in mm. the paint, in the crown. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, I think I lost. Mm -hmm. yeah. More negative. Yeah. yeah. So it's not with nothing. Yeah. Oh, you can see. See, so we got one chunk, one chunk. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see the blender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.